Welcome. In this video, we will talk about how you can use a merge join transformation in SSDT and uh, what is the, the similarity or difference between uh, merge join and merge and the similarity with transfer SQL also. Uh, and let's be started. Merge join is similar to the join in transfer SQL. Uh, in SS SSDT, in merge join transformation tool, you can choose uh, different types of joins as inner join, left outer join, full outer join. And the main difference between using transfer SQL and merge join transformation is that you can support two completely different inputs of data source. For example, one from flat file or Excel file, and also from, for example, Oracle DB. But with join in transfer SQL, you can only uh, join from one type of data and data source. Okay, uh, you can see here that we uh, have data flow task in uh, our SSIS toolbox. I will double click it and choose source assistant. We will have uh, two different uh, source or the same data source but from two different table in this example and we will uh, choose uh, to sort the data with sort component from uh, one table and from another table we'll use, uh, we will try to avoid that sort component, uh, sort transformation component uh, because if you're using uh, sort transformation it's uh, not recommended for a big uh, data flow you know. okay let's start it, we'll create new data connection We'll choose our server. Just a second. We'll choose Barat's PC, and we'll choose our Adventure Works 2012 database. We could connect our our connection and succeed. It's everything it seems fine. We have one connection here. We'll create another one. We'll use the same uh, connection manager here and we will use the same uh, table of course but uh, the same uh, the same uh, database but different table you'll see now we only have uh, here two tables which we will use in this example the first one is uh, some simple query from human resource employee and the second one is data from a person person table Okay, for the second uh, one, is, you can see the difference between uh, those two queries that uh, the second one is ordered by, uh, sorted by business entity ID and you will see later why we will copy this uh, copy this query and use uh, data access mode uh, SQL command paste this query uh, everything seems fine business entity ID job title gender okay everything is fine and the second one we will put uh, again data access mode SQL command we will use a person person table without sorting our data uh, okay just paste here Business entity ID, first name, last name, middle name, everything seems fine. Okay. We have uh, the same data source but from uh, different tables. And for this one, uh, we didn't sort our data in our query and we must use our sort transformation as we mentioned it before. And you will see how. You just connect and now you should give the sort uh, transformation tool uh, to know uh, which column will be uh, by which column will be sorted our data in in uh, uh, in our source in our query. And uh, now we will use uh, merge join component here put on the form and connected uh, our uh, first sort component sort transformation and we'll choose uh, merge join left input ok everything seems fine now we'll try to connect uh, already be source 1 we have here human resource employee and uh, it is sorted data 
in our query, but you will see what will happen now. If we try to connect, we will give, we will get an error, and you will see why. Uh, IS sorted property must be set to true in both sources of this transformation. You will see how you can do that. Double uh, right click on the on the component and show show advanced editor. And now go to input output properties and uh, choose our OLEDB source output and uh, put IS sorted to true and also you should put uh, for our uh, business entity ID it's our sort column you know and we must put sort K position to 1 and should be everything okay now it is now uh, if we open our major transformation editor uh, you can choose join type. As we said before at the beginning of this video, video, merge join transformation can execute three kind of joins: full outer join, left outer join, and inner join. Right join is simply not uh, necessary and it's not supported because uh, it is very easy to swap uh, inputs here on the one button click in major join transformation editor. So it's not very useful, no? And uh, now we should choose. You can see here uh, that uh, it's the first data from person-person table is uh, goes through uh, sort transformation, and its name is sort here. And you should choose uh, which data you want to see. And uh, here's directly for our second source, our second table, human reasons. Reasons we choose the job title and gender. Okay. Uh, now we put. Uh, derived columns here just to have some kind of uh, some kind of preview you know and you'll see uh, how enable data viewer it everything should be fine now and uh, for first example we choose in a join it's okay if we execute this we will get only matching combination to the output 290 uh, rows because we have we have uh, 290 values or uh, better to say we have 290 uh, rows in our uh, second source uh, human resource employee and if we choose uh, left outer join uh, we should uh, get all the data from the first source uh, from the left uh, input and uh, it will try to find matches from the input on the right uh, right side, you know. And uh, we should get all the data, uh, how many rows we have in this this input here. We should get all the data, you know. And we'll execute this. It's 19,000, I think, and something. Okay, here you can see that we have, uh, it's probably yeah, it's 1972, but it's not showing on, on our preview uh, results. It is not a problem. You can see here how many rows we have. Okay. Uh, and the last one is the last one is full outer join. Full outer join creates an output which includes all rows from both input. And you can see here now that again very high number yes yeah, you can see here no everything everything seems fine and uh, that is that we saw today how you can create uh, how you can use uh, merge joint transformation and uh, how you can use uh, sources from our in this case our uh, database source uh, without sorting our table using sort component, uh, sort transformation component, and bit sorting uh, in the query and uh, without sort component uh, using merge join uh, transformation, combined merge join transformation. And that is all for this video, and uh, goodbye.